To find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements in Cl2O5, we'll use these general rules here. So we won't find chlorine in our rules here because chlorine can have different oxidation states. We will, however, as we go down, we find oxygen that has a minus two oxidation number, except in a few cases. So each one of these oxygen will have an oxidation number of minus two. We also know that in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they have to add up to zero. So with that information, we can write an equation to find out the oxidation number on the chlorine atoms here. So let's say the chlorines are X, we don't know those, and we have two of them, and we add to that the oxidation numbers of the oxygen. So oxygen's minus two, but we have five of them. And all of that needs to add up to zero because it's a neutral compound. So we have two X minus 10, that equals zero, so X, will equal a positive five. So the oxidation number on each one of the chlorine atoms is plus five. If we were to add up all the oxidation numbers for each element, we could take two times plus five, that's plus 10, five times minus two, that's minus 10, plus 10 and minus 10, that'll give us zero. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the element we knew, then we used that information along with the fact that Oxidation numbers will all add up to zero for a neutral compound to find the one we didn't know. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for Cl2O5, dichlorine pentoxide. Thanks for watching.